Welcome to another Just a Thought. My name is Sam from Libanus Church. Now, yesterday the rules changed. Yesterday the rules were relaxed slightly. And this is great news for people because it means that we can meet face to face with friends and family from other households. Now we can meet face to face, we still have to be two metres distance, we still have to be two metres apart, but we can meet face to face with one another outside in the fresh air and the weather on Saturday was lovely and so I wonder did you take advantage of that? Did you sit in your garden with friends and family that maybe you've missed? Maybe you haven't seen them for a year, maybe you haven't seen them for months, and I wonder, what did it feel like to be face to face with them? What did it feel like to almost have that reunion? Now, the phone is great and Zoom is great, but it's not the same, is there? There is nothing quite like meeting face to face. And this reminded me of something from the Bible. And in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, it says this. For now we see in a mirror dimly. But then, face to face, now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I have been known fully. Now, I love that verse from the Bible because it reminds us that one day we're going to meet face to face with God himself. However, I wonder if you can relate to this situation Maybe in pre-COVID times, there would be a knock at the door and you'd rush to the door and you'd open it and inwardly your face would fall. Your face would completely drop because when you open that door on the other side, you saw that relative that you always try to avoid. Or that neighbour who's always friendly and polite, but you don't really get on with. And you know you have to invite them in and you know you have to talk to them and spend time with them but you also know it's going to be well over an hour before you can get rid of them again. Have you ever been face to face with somebody that you really don't want to be face to face with? Maybe you've done something wrong at work and then you see your boss face to face. It's always a little bit more intimidating or frightening isn't it to speak to somebody face to face if you've made a mistake. Maybe you much rather do it over email. Meeting with somebody face to face can both be good and it can be bad. And so when the Bible says that we will meet face to face with God, that's either going to be good or it's going to be bad. And it's either going to be good or bad depending on one question. Do you know Jesus Christ? Are you trusting in Jesus? That is the only question that will decide whether coming face to face with God is good or bad. Because if you know Jesus, you will come face to face with the person who loves you, the person who died for you, the person who gave everything for you, the person who suffered to bring you forgiveness. And when you come face to face with him, your heart will be filled with joy. Your fears, your tears, the sadness will melt away and you will be left rejoicing and glad. Or you might be face to face with the same Jesus who died on that cross that you rejected. The same Jesus you didn't want anything to do with. The same Jesus that you ignored. The same Jesus you didn't care about. One day you will come face to face with God and you must know Jesus Christ now. You must know Jesus Christ now before you meet him face to face. And so I want to end with this question. It's great that the rules have been relaxed yesterday. It's great that we can see one another face to face. But when you come face to face with Jesus Christ, will you meet him? as your saviour or will you see him as the one that you have rejected all your life if you want to know more about jesus if you want to know more 
about how he could be your saviour, please get in touch with us at Livinus Church and we would be happy to show you how coming to know Jesus is the best decision that you could ever make. Thank you.